blood in our hearts and in our thinking. God be in our minds while we sleep. Right. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, 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 welcome to the mental health. Y'all know what we talk about, all this mental type of stuff. Um, welcome. Um, this morning, unfortunately, I have to... Um, a negative story. I wish I didn't have to, but I need to for education purposes. I'm like Ann Murray when she said, We sure could use a little good news today. Shout out to Ann Murray. Nobody brought the liquor store on the North Park Town. Nobody OD, not a Cop shot a person down. And everybody just loved one another in the good old USA. We sure could use a little good news today. Oh, yeah, girl. I feel that. Anyway, protests spark battles across the United States of America, y'all. It, the Antifa and the Proud Boys brawled in Michigan. Then you had the c cops clash with Black Lives Matter marches in Chicago. And then pro-police demonstrators fired gunshots in Portland as the rallies turned violent. Now, all this that happened since Donald Trump has been president. It's been a powder keg burning. It's been a, we've been knowing it's about to happen. It's about to pop off. And I still say nobody wins in war, but it's coming. I, I don't, I don't even feel, I feel like it's a uh, avalanche. It's, a, it's been picked up too much steam. 400 years worth. And the white supremacists, the, the, the domestic terrorists, um, they don't know the difference between people fighting to get somebody's foot off of their neck and genuinely feeling that they have the right to keep their foot on your neck. That's a hell of a mind fuck and a hell of a program that you want to fight people who telling you, I don't want to be oppressed by you anymore. And you're not hearing me. I'm tired of being abused. I'm tired of all these things. You're not hearing it. So you get a group to beat up them or the police try to shut them down. Y'all want to know why we call this the mental health? Well, you should have no questions. You should really have no questions. Um, anyway. Monday marked the 80th day of unrest, and it's, it's really sad. It is really sad. Um, it's across the U.S. since George Floyd's death. In Kalamazoo, Michigan, far-right Proud Boys fought anti-racism protesters at a rally organized by a church in Portland. No. So who has respect for the church, though? Okay, the, the, the right wing Christians. So I'm sure that they didn't went to the church and fuck with them. Okay, never mind. Let me just read the article. In Portland, Oregon, two gunshots were fired after pro and anti -po police rallies clashed in the troubled city. Chicago on Saturday night was tense as black. Lives Matter protesters squared off with police and a skirmish broke out. And earlier on Saturday, supporters of the Confederate flag confronted Black Lives Matter activists in Stone Mountain, Georgia. 
I mean, who can stand this? Who? Anybody that can stand this much uh, drama and trauma is not human. Not human. I mean, it's who wants to be on turn up <laughs> all the time? The Proud Boys not only have hatred for Jewish people, I mean, it's just crazy. Um, let me let me go ahead. The Proud Boys they not only have hatred for Jewish people and Muslim people, but they're also very hateful of anybody who doesn't like them or act like them, said the Reverend Nathan Dannison, the church's pastor. Addressing the gathered crowd, Dannison urged those present to commit themselves to nonviolent and non-aggressive, non-aggression. They got goof, they got battle flag. Miss flags, Nazi flag, and American flags, and poles and posts, and they just, it's, it's just so defeating. It's just so sad. And they want to fight black people. Five members of the far right Proud Boys group clashed with anti racism protesters on Saturday. Police did not arrive to separate the rival warring faction to almost 2 p.m., by which time downtown Kalamazoo was already chaotic. Punches were thrown and people were being shoved and kicked to the ground in Michigan City. Well, at least they're not far from the prison. They can just dump their ass up in there. My uh, uncle spent about 30 years in that. Anyway, let's work together to remain peaceful and manifest positive energy with each other, to take care of each other, to take care of our own selves, our own safety, and to defend one another, Dennison told the crowd. Shortly after that, chanting mostly masters Proud Boys marched toward the park's entrance, waving American Trump, Gaddison flags, and other white supremacist symbols. See what I'm saying? See, white folk, y'all only good in the game. Man, y'all just, man, ugh. Y'all just some real, I mean, it's just really, it's, the hatred is just so profound. What did these people ever, what did they do to you? They in church gathering, talking about peaceful pro, and you come into church in a park to, to mess with the people. And y'all don't see nothing remotely, mentally retarded, uh, insane about that? You don't see nothing remotely crazy about that. That's your stinking thinking, buddy. You are crazy. And Donald Trump done wound you up like a, a rag doll and got you out here performing like some just maniacs. And I don't know how we're going to get out of this. I don't know. It looks like there's only one way. When you get to the point where the society is feeling like, oh, let them eat cake, you already know what time it is. You know, this is insane. Violence broke out soon after with Proud Boys attacking counter protester with fists, kicks, and shoves. The police arrived around 2 p.m. to try and separate the rival protesters. In Chicago, the police used pepper spray and batons to repel hundreds of demonstrators who took to the streets calling for the defunding of police departments. The protester was seen bashing an officer over the head with a skateboard. One protester, that is. Officers then ripped umbrella and bites from protesters' hands and sprayed the crowd with chemical irritants, the Chicago Sun-Times reported. The demonstrations began at Chicago's iconic beam before the group traveled to Michigan Avenue and Wacker Drive. I heard they done already turned, they was on that Nicholson Mile tearing that shit up. Multiple arrests were witnessed at the same time. The group continued to Michigan Avenue and Randolph Street heading toward Chicago's loop uh, as city bridges remained lifted, preventing them from crossing the Chicago River. 
A heavy police presence was seen in the area with several officers both in front and behind the marching demonstrators and other lines uh, of officers walking and blocking the streets. The group chanted things like no justice, no peace, as they called for the funding of the police. Removing police from the city's public schools and abolishing immigrants in customs enforcement, which is ICE. Wow. And it looks just like the scene from um, Escape from New York or something. In Portland, day 80 of the protests against systemic racism and police brutality saw gunshots fired. Saturday began with a noon counter protest as about 30 right wing demonstrators gathered in front of the Justice Center to support the police. 